Okay, so now that I've finished, I realized that the most frustrating part of this whole thing was just getting through the deep fascia, which is actually really, really tough. Um, you can see here, I've, I've pulled back this muscle. Cool, right? Um, and you can see this layer on top, that's the deep fascia, okay? It's really tough and really thick. And it's kind of hard to get through. That's the temporalis, by the way, and I was just gonna see if I could get to the skull, which I could, there's the skull. Anyway, that muscle's really stuck to the skull. Okay, so what I'm gonna recommend, uh, if yours, like mine, has a lot of deep fascia on it, is that you start here right behind the head, there should be a cut, okay? Um, and there is this deep uh, crease between the temporalis and this first part of the uh, trapezius. Go ahead and stick your scissors in there and make a you know, cut in there. Maybe don't cut, but use the point of the scissors, sorry, use the point of the scissors to kind of get in there, okay? Make an opening in the fascia and then pull the fascia up. Make sure that you've only got fascia, okay? Make sure you're not cutting any brown stuff and give it a cut. And that's going to give you a place to start to get to removing that fascia, okay? And just be aware that as you pull it up, you may get muscle with it. Try not to, okay? Because you do want to separate the muscle, but it just, and then what you're going to do is just that pull, snip, pull, not snip, but pull, separate, pull, separate, okay? With the scissors, and then pull off these pieces of deep fascia. Uh, and that's finally gonna expose these superficial muscles here, which are the ones that we're gonna start with, okay? Um, I still never quite got mine completely clean. Uh, it is better than the other side, but it's not great. Uh, but that's okay, right? You can see the fibers of the muscle. That's what we wanna see. Make sure they're, you know, we know where the muscle is going. That's what we wanna see.